Well, it's too hot in the greenhouse. Now what? Hey everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Sarah and Kevin. Well, you know, we've been dealing with winter that has lasted so long, just on and on and on. For Missouri. For Missouri. For those of you in colder places than us, we're not whining. Absolutely. We're glad not. to be here. Yes. Okay, but today is a gorgeous day. It's supposed to get up to 75 or 78, which means that in the sunny greenhouse, it's gonna get too hot. So today our project is to remedy that situation for today and for the rest of the summer. Just to put some things into perspective, today is Tuesday. On Sunday we had snow and today is supposed to be about 77 degrees. So we don't really know what to plan for, so we're just trying to plan for everything. Lucky for us, uh, when we lived in our urban homestead in the Phoenix area, uh, we had purchased 60% shade cloths uh, to put over all of our gardens. When we gardened in the desert, we needed that um, after April 15th and through the rest of the summer in order to grow anything there. Uh, when we packed up, we thought, gosh, are we going to really need these shade cloths? But, you know, they were still in decent enough condition. We had already spent the money, so we figured we would bring them along to uh, the Missouri Ozarks when we moved here. Um, and now we have a reason to use them. Right. So we were really glad uh, that we did bring them along. Uh, they're nice big shade cloths. Uh, they measure uh, 20 foot by 20 foot. Uh, and we actually have four of them uh, that we used to have above our garden in Phoenix. So um, we're going to use two of them to cover the greenhouse with uh, because our greenhouse is 16 by 32. Uh, and to go over the, over the arch of the greenhouse, uh, it'll take uh, probably a, the whole 20 feet to go uh, from where the roll-up sides start uh, to over the top. So uh, before we get started, uh, let's go over to the greenhouse and we'll show you guys uh, just a brief overview if this is your first time here of the greenhouse and how the roll-up sides work and how that uh, ventilation is really helping uh, to keep things cooled off as well. All right, let me show you guys how the roll-up sides work on the greenhouse. Now we bought this kit from growersolution.com. Uh, if you go there and use the coupon code TRADITIONALIST10, uh, you'll get 10% off on your order from them. Uh, that's something they're doing uh, just because we've been uh, you know, helping to spread the word about their company. It's a small family-owned company and we like to try to support uh, as many of those uh, family-owned companies as we can. So uh, now the one thing I do have to say, even though this video is about shade cloth, they did tell us uh, no discounts on the shade cloth. Uh, so let me show you how the roll-up sides work. So basically you have your plastic that goes over the top of your greenhouse and it attaches here to this uh, two by six uh, called the hip board. Uh, it attaches with this wiggle wire in a track and then down below that the rest of the plastic hangs loose. Uh, you then attach it to this metal bar and these handles on the sides and you can see that then that allows you to roll up and roll down the sides of the greenhouse the entire length of the greenhouse. Uh, we have these on both sides so ventilation can go through the entire greenhouse and it really does help uh, keep things cooler inside uh, to a point. Uh, but when it's starting to get into the 80s outside uh, or up, upper 70s like it is today, it's going to get hot in here even with those sides up. So that's why we're putting the shade cloth on. We're hoping to be able to keep this you know, considerably cooler uh, than it, it would get without the shade cloth on. In addition to the roll-up sides, we also have a door that has a screen in it uh, that also helps with ventilation. Now, we know that there are big fancy ventilation systems that you can buy to put up in your greenhouse that open and close uh, by themselves depending on the temperature. But to be honest, we're really not in the position to be able to invest uh, more money into our greenhouse project. Um, and the fact that we brought those shade cloths along with us when we moved um, really will be a lifesaver for us. Right, there's no reason to spend more money than we have to. Uh, the only other thing we may try after putting up the shade cloth is to still put a vent uh, in the back on the back wall uh, if the shade cloth isn't enough. Uh, but the shade cloth is definitely going to be our first try, so that's what we're going to get started on today. And this year is all about learning for us. We've never done this before with this greenhouse stuff. Right. Uh, so it's about learning uh, so that hopefully as years go by we can just get more and more proficient uh, growing and using our greenhouse. 
So the first thing we're going to need to do is take off uh, the wind straps on the greenhouse. Uh, we'll just take these off and lay them aside while we throw the shade cloth over and then we'll uh, put the shade cloth down and then put the wind strap back over the top of the shade cloth to hold it in place. Then we'll also be attaching uh, the shade cloth to the hip board here uh, to hold it really nice and tight. So uh, the goal is to get it as tight as we can on the plastic so when it does get windy it doesn't uh, you know flap around free from the plastic. So we have our two shade cloths uh, laid out here and so this is what they look like there. They're a little bit rough because we used them for three years uh, before moving here but uh, you can see that it will let um, some of the light through. Again this is a 60% shade cloth. Now to get it over the greenhouse what we'll do is attach a rope to one of these grommets and attach an object that we can throw over. Um, in this case we're just using a plastic bat because that's what we have laying around and then we'll be able to pull it um, over the greenhouse and uh, like adjust it and set it up that way. So that's that's what we're doing next. All right, got my rope tied on. I got it. We have the first one on. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, inside it feels really nice. Uh, we're going to now put the wind straps back over the top of the uh, uh, shade cloth and that will really help hold it in place. But we did put quite a few screws on the sides uh, in the grommets uh, but those wind straps will now really help hold it in place. Alright, so we've got the first one completely up. The wind straps are on. Now it's time to start on the second one. Now we do plan on overlapping them just a little bit. Uh, so, uh, so that, uh, again, we want it to hang down over the back, but we don't want a bunch of loose, you know, hanging all the way down onto the ground. So we do uh, need to overlap them to just the right point to get that to work. And that's what we're going to start on now. of the shade cloth up but back here we have all of this extra shade cloth to deal with so we need to secure it so it's not flapping around in the wind and stuff so uh, we think we have a plan um, we're going to tie some rope onto the bottom of these grommets and then there's a board under here that we can screw it to to keep at least a few of these uh, secured to basically the ground and then we just need to figure out what to do with the extra fabric basically um, on these corners. So we'll see what we can figure out. So we got the back finished. Uh, you can see we ended up just putting some screws down here, tying some ropes to it through these grommets. And then the ends, we just made it really simple. We just tied a knot into the uh, loose parts, tied a rope around it and attached that to the bottom as well. And you can see, I mean, it held, holds it nice and tight. Uh, this gives us good coverage right on the inside of here is where our little raised bed inside the greenhouse is. So this will give some good shade for that raised bed as well. Uh, but let's go inside and we'll see how it's doing from the inside. You can see it really makes a big difference inside the greenhouse. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's really it's taking the intensity out of the sun as it comes through. It uh, hasn't made a big difference so far with the heat, uh, but it does, uh, like I said, you could just tell a big difference where the sun just doesn't feel so intense coming through the plastic. So uh, once we get some fans and things running, I think it's going to make quite a big difference. Uh, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, again, don't forget to go to growersolution.com if you want to see the kits that they offer. We've been very happy with this one. If this is your first time here, uh, this would be a great time to hit the subscribe button below. We put out five videos every week. 
If you're one of our traditionalists who comes back every day, we sure do appreciate it. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care, and God bless.